Welcome back. And in this lesson, we're going to link everything together and show you how to make this custom text uh, for, you know, say if you were working for a client or if you wanted to sell rings or if you just wanted to make a bunch of different rings, you would have this flexible design workflow that you can use in any type of designing that you do in the future. But this is just a simple technique that I use all the time that I want to share with you. So the first thing we want to do is make sure everything's linked together. So notice, you know, go ahead and grab your, your main ring there and hit G. And, you know, maybe you're having the same issue here where nothing's sticking together. So we need to link these together. So just click on the text, maybe hold control on your keyboard and then click on your Bezier curve. And then we can do both of these at the same time. So we'll just hold, click on one of those, drag them over the ring and then hold shift. So notice now it says drop to set parent. And if we let go, everything is tied in to the ring. We've got the curve, we've got the finger and we've got the text and we can twiddle that back up. So now if we grab and move our ring, it's all staying together. We can hit Alt G to bring it back. So that's just a good practice to do anytime you do Booleans or you just want things to stay together. It's always a good practice to parent them together. And the reason I want you to do that is because when you start getting into more and more super complex designs, it's gonna save you a lot of headache. So just always get in the habit of parenting things together. Now we're going to duplicate this collection. So this is kind of like our, our main uh, collection here. It's our flexible design. You know, we're gonna keep everything open just like that, but I want you to right click on your flexible design collection and then choose duplicate collection. And go ahead and turn off the flexible design. Just hit that eyeball and that will hide it. That way we can't accidentally, you know, select anything from our, from our flexible design. And now let's rename this new collection. So just double click on the collection and call it 3D print design. And notice everything in the 3D print design has a 0 .001. That's how you know it is a duplicate of the flexible design. So that's what you want. Everything should say 0 .001 at the end. So now we've got our custom text, but we want it to actually say something cool, you know, not custom text, unless you just want it to say custom text, but let's put something like our name or you can put your company or like a favorite quote you have or your Instagram, it could be anything. So what we wanna do is click on the text and then hit tab and notice what happens. The text goes flat again and that's because we're in edit mode. So you can, you know, kind of toggle back and forth and uh, you know, see that happening. And what that is doing is that it's giving you the ability to change it. So let's just hit backspace while you're in edit mode. And now let's type something else. So you can put your name. I'm just gonna put print that thing, all in caps, and then just hit tab. And there you go, boom. So you can make as many custom rings as you want. And you know, you don't have to rebuild everything every time you can just Hit tab, change the text, and then you've got a new ring. And then sometimes if you, say if you wrote something really long, um, then you can just uh, come back to object mode, hit S, and kind of just scale that around, you know, and that way you can get everything to fit. So sometimes, you know, it might, if you wrote something really long, it might be overlapping. Just scale it on down and just kind of lay it in there, you know, just kind of eyeball until you like what you're seeing. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. And so now let's Boolean these two items together. Let's take our text and Boolean it to the ring. So just make sure you still have your text selected and then hold shift and click on the ring and then do control plus. But notice nothing happened. We didn't get our little wireframe. And if we go to our ring layer, there's no new Boolean that showed up. So the reason for that is if you look at our text layer, it's got this little curve here. It's like a dot with a little curvy line with a dot. And in Blender, that represents a curve. So um, it's kind of like it, Blender doesn't see this as an actual mesh or actual geometry. It just sees it as text. So we need to tell Blender to make this into geometry. And an easy way to do that is just right click on the text and say, convert to mesh. And then watch what happens to this little symbol right here. So I'll right click on it, convert to mesh, boop, and now it's turned into a triangle. And that little icon represents a mesh in Blender's eyes. 
So now we should be able to Boolean these objects together. So just make sure you still have your text selected. Hold shift on your keyboard and select the ring and do control plus. And there we go. We've got a nice Boolean operation and this is actually 3D printable. And you could even do, um, instead of a union, you could do a difference. So, you know, this is really just personal preference, but inside of your ring design, you should have a new Boolean uh, with the text.001. And you want to just change that to difference, or you could do union, um, either one, whichever you prefer. If you want your text to stick out, then do union. If you want your text to be kind of cut away, then you do difference. And I'll turn off my overlay so you can kind of see that. Yeah, so that's what it'll look like on your finger. Keep in mind, we haven't applied any of these modifiers. So everything in this design is super, you know, flexible and can be changed on the fly, all willy nilly. So let's go ahead and jump into the next video where we're going to export this for 3D printing and do some slicing.